Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Saturday Surprise Show. I am Devin, with me is Billy and Cody. Woo! Hey, everybody. And in my final attempt to destroy Christmas, <laughs> I found creepy Christmas music lyrics we should all think twice about. <laughs> hey, you seem bent on destroying Christmas this year. I mean, you want to know what you to sit through. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> so, this is on Bustle.com. And let's just jump right in. So this is 11, so it's going to be a short list. Yeah. 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 So, he's going to find out who's naughty or nice. <laughs> kinky! I, I wouldn't say kinky, but like, who is he, to, like, right here, based on the rubric, is he judging? Yeah. And who's determined yeah. what is good and what is nice? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And also, how is he going to find out? Oh, I love that. If you find this, I will, like, thank you forever. And there's a creepy version of this where all you have to do is just repeat the, some of the lines in that Santa's coming to town. Yeah. Like, he's going to find out. He's going to find out. He's going to find out. He's, he's going to find out. out. <laughs> <laughs> or, you better not cry. You better not cry. You better not cry. <laughs> <laughs> That is creepy. Yeah, it's like you just repeat like a few of those lines. It's fucking creepy. Alright. He sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake. That's really kind of creepy. It really <laughs> okay. is. Alright, he's either a pedophile or he's with a FEMA. And he's with a FEMA, he's not going to show up to Jerry's second anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had to get my dad's little joke in there. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody should be watching you sleep. Not even Santa Claus himself. <laughs> I know. Through the years, we all will be together if the fates allow. Uh, okay. This line, have yourself a merry little Christmas, is sweet on the one hand, but on the other hand, if the fates allow. So it's like a pretty uh, ominous way to talk about our future holidays. Yeah. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wow. If the fates allow. Jeez. Jeez, Christmas. Kind of a stretch on this one. Yeah, but yeah. Actually, the weirdest thing is, I kind of know which movie this is, the song was originally was written for. Okay. And this is the context. Okay. <laughs> okay. What movie? Uh, Evening in St. Louis. Okay. It was set during, like, uh, the World's Fair, and then, like, Dizzy Garland singing with his sisters, saying, like, we'll be together at Fates, like, is the family's. I'm sure they're going to be moving or not. Yes, okay. okay. So it makes sense. Yeah. Okay, it's fair in that context. I simply must go, but baby, it's cold inside. The answer is no, but baby, it's cold inside. <laughs> there is a reason this got taken off the radios. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> baby, it's cold inside. It's the classic Christmas date rape song. <laughs> Honestly, any song lyrics could have been on this list, but... This one is exceptionally creepy because it explicitly states that the female part is not consenting to any of this nonsense. The answer is no. no. But just the... Oh, the, oh no. But just the gif. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to keep on waiting underneath the mistletoe. <laughs> oh, that kind of is creepy. Yeah. There's no more scandals with these lines from All I Want for Christmas, but looking beyond the sweet sentiment of someone wanting to be reunited with their boo on Christmas, it's a real, it's a little weird that the singer is willing to wait around under some mistletoe. Who knows how long they're going to have to wait, and why wouldn't you be able to find something else to do? <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Hang on the mistletoe. I'm going to get to know you better this Christmas. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that gift. <laughs> it's for sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> this Christmas. When the song hits, hang on the mistletoe. I'm going to get to know you better this Christmas. Slow down, dude. If you don't already know the woman or man, <laughs> you're trying to sweep off his feet, his or her feet. Then maybe don't cover the house in mistletoe just yet. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> kind of creepy. Not gonna lie, <laughs> kind of creepy. 
So this is Christmas, and what have you done? Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> judgmental? Yeah. A little yeah. judgmental. That's not even creepy. That's just being a jerk. Like, I like the picture of that song playing after, like, you blew up, like, a work town or something. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Christmas, and what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Fake Christmas songs are all happy. Think again, motherfucker, because Happy Xmas, War is Over, is about as depressing as anything you'll hear this year. The song was written by John Lennon and Yoko Ono and was meant to, as a sort of call to arms for peace protesters. Hence the pretty hostile and slightly critically demanding, and what have you done? That explains what I know now who wrote, wrote the thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do that, so like, well, that explains a lot. Yeah. For rich and poor ones, the world is so wrong. <laughs> also, part of that same song. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's so much money. <laughs> Another sad lyric from the Happy X Men's War is Over It's true that the world isn't perfect, and the song wasn't exactly intended to be the all joyous, but still, must it be this dark? <laughs> So have a merry, merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, this one's going to take some reading. There's a world inside your window, and it's a world of dread and fear, where a kiss of love can kill you, and there's death in every tear. And the Christmas bells that ring, there are the clanging chimes of doom. What the hell did Christmas do Someone's in the emo face. Oh, man. What did Christmas do to you? Jesus. <laughs> Take oh a moment here to do some processes. What's that? Written to raise money to help fight famine in Ethiopia in 1984, Do They Know It's Christmas is a haunting Christmas song. It is good to use Christmas as a time to raise awareness for those less fortunate. Yes, but is such graphic imagery necessary to convey such a message? Hell! No! <laughs> My God! <laughs> I, ha I half want to listen to this song later just to see how bad it is. Yeah, I've, I'm going to look this up yeah, later. Yeah, I know, <clears throat> I know which one. Because... Yeah. Oh, it's because it was played on TV a few times. Really? Okay. okay. Interesting. When the party is over and the night's just begun, I promise the best part is yet to come. Slow dance together to become one. <laughs> okay. Dear singer of Under My Tree, who exactly are you playing on getting alone after your Christmas party? Is your Christmas party even real or is it just you or are you just luring the object of your affection to your house for a slow dance together? <laughs> <laughs> Creepy. And I think this is the last one. Yeah. Oh, what a laugh it would be have been if Danny had only seen Mommy kissing Santa Claus last night. <laughs> so, yep. so I'm hoping to see he's setting a bird by the father. Lovely. Yeah. This lyric from I Saw Mom Kissing Santa Claus is either extremely disturbing or cute, depending on how you view the song. Either you think that the Santa Claus is the singer's dad, and it's cute, and the singer doesn't recognize him, or Santa Claus is real, and this kid wants his dad to watch his mom kiss someone else for some reason. Either way, it's pretty weird. <laughs> right, if you can get past the creep factor, all these Christmas songs are pretty top-notch. <laughs> <laughs> Let the creep-tastic Christmas begin! Actually, how I view that song is, uh, Mommy cheating on Daddy with an old guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, that's, that's the obvious joke, yeah, yeah. is that. <laughs> and some old guy's about to get his, uh, head beat in. But that one! Oh, yeah, that... This, oh, this my. one takes the cake. This is yes. just... Oh, so... Dark. Dark. I mean, I I really had to ask, what did Christmas do to you? Yeah. I mean, I get that it was trying to 
like, like raise money and all that, yeah. but still, like that probably scared the crap out of kids. <laughs> that one's too kids. Especially with that gift. <laughs> no, Devin, I agree with you. Yeah. The second one is especially creepy. Yeah. <laughs> like, Santa, please stop peering into my house. <laughs> like, hey, this one was right, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hey Dennis Leary, can you come and protect me from Santa Claus? <laughs> no. No. But with that though, we'll call the episode here. So thank you all very much for watching. Yes, this is a very short episode. <laughs> but we only had like eleven to go through. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like what's what you can think of ones off the top of your head. Yeah. <laughs> that too was... No, no. no. And Devin realized he could not stop Christmas. It was already here. And sure as hell, it would arrive again next year. So while everyone continued on with their holiday cheer, Devin thought to himself, Fuck it, I'm getting a beer. 